Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most common questions I get asked in Armada and that's how crits work. Uh, I've explained it before but some people still get a couple of things confused so I want to talk about that. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about the crits. There's different colored crits. Uh, here are our black dice. And if you're wondering why these dice look a little different than yours, there's uh, some of the regional dice, so it's just transparent, but these are official FFG dice. Same sides and everything. So the side with the line through it is the critical hit, and there's one on every type of dice. The blue die has two crits, the red die has two crits, and the black die has two crits. But the black dice's crits also have a hit with them, so the black dice crits are particularly nasty because they have two damage. Whereas the red dice's two damage side does not have a crit, and the blue dice does not have a two damage side, but it also doesn't have any blanks. But now, the, the critical effect is not stackable, it's not cumulative. So people ask me all the time, all right, so if I'm attacking and I get multiple crits, does that mean all the damage is face up? No. So for the record, let me state, having at least one critical hit in your dice pool uh, she means that it's, it counts as a damage, but it also gives you the chance to trigger a critical effect. Now, 99% of the time, or maybe 90% of the time, you're gonna go with the default critical effect. Every attack has the default critical effect as an option. And what the default critical defect is, is that the, uh, the default critical effect is that the very first damage card that is dealt to the ship is going to be dealt face up. So, for, the, for example, if these two ships were shooting each other and we rolled that from this MC-30 to the front of this Pelta, it would be one, two, three, four damage. All right, he's got three shields, so if he braced to two, this critical would do nothing because no damage cards are going to the ship, so we would just reduce shields by two if he braced. Or we, But now, suppose he had no defense tokens, uh, then he was just going to take one, two, three, and then one damage would get through. Because the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna count up damage. The crit counts as one damage. One, two, three, four. So now one damage is gonna go through. Because we're going with the default critical effect, that means the first damage will be face up. All right? So now suppose I had a side shot instead in that exact same scenario. All right? And let's also suppose for the sake of argument that this gentleman here had no defense tokens just for simplicity's sake. So from the MC-30 to the front, and this is what we rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage, and there's three critical dice showing, all right? Now, a lot of people will think, oh, so that means the first three damage are gonna be face up. No, this is not X-Wing, and the criticals effects don't count, don't stack, and on top of that X-Wing, it would have it in reverse, the crits would be last, but, uh, this would count as one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Uh, and there, because there's at least one critical in there, think of it as somebody having a dirty finger and sticking it in your water. Are you gonna drink that water? Probably not. Now, suppose they had four dirty fingers and stuck them in your water. Are you still gonna drink that water? You're probably not. It doesn't matter if it's one finger or four fingers. The number of crits don't count. All that matters is that there is a crit showing, all right? Now, there are differences between the color of crits, but they're very, very minor and very, very circumstantial, so we'll talk about those in a little bit because they only apply to specific upgrade cards. But for the default crit, the colors don't matter. So seven damage, in this case, would be one, two, three to shields, and then four damage cards. Because there is at least one crit showing, the first will be face up. So we'll cut the, the deck. First one face up, injured crew, two, three, four. And all right, so that's how that works. It doesn't matter if they're all crits or there's only one crit, all right? So that is how the critical, the default critical effect works. Now, the second question I get asked an awful lot is squadrons. So let's take these ships off of the board here and let's put some squadrons out there, all right? I'm gonna put an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter. This is actually Howl Runner, but. Um, and let's have them, well, they wouldn't both be attacking this guy, but uh, well, this is a fictional scenario here. If the X-Wing was attacking the MC-30, the X-Wing would roll, they roll a red die. Now, if the X-Wing rolls a crit, that will count because the X-Wing has Bomber. So that means this crit will add one damage to his damage total, so it would be one damage. And if it goes, and he can resolve a critical effect. The X-Wing only has the default critical effect, just like most other situations, there's only the default critical effect. 
And I'm going to talk about critical effect cards here in a minute. So let's say that for some reason there were no uh, shields here and no defense tokens. If he gets a damage through, it would be like so. Now, if the X-Wing rolled normal damage, then he would just treat it as normal and it would be two hits. Now, swap places. Suppose this were a TIE Fighter attacking. Well, the TIE Fighter only rolls blue dice, and the blue dice happen to have a crit and a regular hit. So for a TIE Fighter, they have to only roll one of the four hit sides. And so the TIE Fighter, like any ship that doesn't have bomber and only has a blue die, only has a 50% chance to hit uh, against a ship. So they have a pretty lower chance. Whereas an X-Wing, you know, you've got a double hit, a hit, a hit, and then two crits. So you have, a, you have basically six out of eight chance. No, I'm sorry, a five out of eight chance because you have two blanks and an accuracy. Now I want to show you the best scenario is if you had an A-Wing, um, I don't have one out here. The A-Wing rolls a black uh, but they're not, but they don't have bombers. So the best scenario is a black die with bomber, or more than that. But the A-wing, for example, and this is a common one that I came up today. You don't drop the whole side. So if they roll this crit hit side and they don't have bomber, you only ignore the crit symbol. You still count the hit. All right. So just because this comes up on a ship that doesn't have bomber. Um, you don't ignore the whole die, you only ignore the symbol. So these count as two individual results, all right? Two individual damage, all right? It's still, it's still a side, so if something allows you to turn a die to a side with a hit, you can turn a black die to a side with a hit and the crit, so that's great. But for something like an A-Wing that rolls a black die or uh, a decimator, uh, you, the hit still counts even if they don't have bomber. That's important. This becomes especially strong with B-Wings, which have a blue and a black die, so you can easily, you have a pretty good chance of getting two hits. You can even get three hits, uh, so it's, it's pretty nice, and end the critical effect. All right, so that's how squadrons work as far as that. The, the, the big takeaway from that is that it's harder for blue dice to get through, black dice have an advantage, and if you don't have bomber, you still count this as one hit, because it, now if you do have bomber, this counts as two hits, and the critical effect as well. If they have shields, the critical effect won't matter. Now I want to talk about some upgrade cards. I want to talk about um, some of the upgrade cards will have a critical effect on them, uh, but a lot of the upgrade cards that deal with critical effects require a specific color. Now you remember I talked about black, red, and blue crits being slightly different. Well, this applies to upgrade cards. So I want to draw your attention to the Assault Concussion Missiles. Assault concussion missiles say a black crit, and then each hull zone adjacent suffers an additional damage. So, assuming this Pelta is attacking this guy, and he rolls, well, he's got two black and a red. Let's say, for sake of argument, let's say we rolled all crits. It's a pretty good roll. All right, so this is what we're gonna count up our damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six damage coming to this guy. Now before you decide which crit you're going to use, suddenly now you have a choice. You can go with the default crit, or you can go with the assault concussion missile crit, which requires a black crit. You just have to have a black crit in your pool. All right. Now suppose you only had this showing and he was farther away and he spent an evade to force you to re-roll a die. All right. If, you re if he made you re-roll this die and it came up like so, you would no longer be able to trigger the assault concussion missiles because you don't have the black crit showing anymore. All right, but if you're close enough and you still have it showing at the end of the day, right at the end of the combat, you then you can decide which crit to use. But you're going to do that after the person spends their defense tokens. So he might redirect all the damage to this side, and then you trigger assault concussion missiles that cause each other side to take a damage. That's going to give this side one more damage, and if there's no more shields there, it'll be an extra damage to him on top of that. It's important to know that if you go with a crit that's not the default crit, your criticals still count as the one damage. So the only way you're really going to get more than one damage through is if you get a structural damage card. So let me pull out a structural damage just for reference sake. Okay, so a structural damage card right here is saying that you deal one face down uh, and then flip this card over. So this basically counts as two damage, but I think there's only seven of those in the deck. There's not, you know, you don't have, you're not guaranteed to get a structural damage. So if I attack and I really want to make sure I get another damage through, it's better to go with maybe a special crit a lot of times because the special crits are, uh, are 
particularly awesome, uh, and they generally tend to do more damage than than normal. Uh, I do want to point out the uh, the contain. Certain ships have contain, like the Interdictor uh, or, or the Imperial Star Destroyer, or the uh, the MC80 Home One expansion has a uh, contain. This will cancel the default crit, only the default crit. So certain other crits, like a Advanced Assault Concussion Missile or a Dodonna's Pride or something like that, yeah, it will not be able to cancel. But it does cancel the default crit, which works a lot of the time. And it, if you're running a lot of those, your opponent's gonna have to bring some extra cards. Speaking of Dodonna's Pride, I wanna talk about that. I don't have a CR90 out here right now, but I wanna talk about Dodonna's Pride. Let's just imagine this was a CR90. And we're gonna say that he rolls three blue dice out of his front arc, because they do. And let's just say, there were no shields up, and let's, let's assume the defender had uh, no, you know, no defense tokens. So we've got, we've got a one crit and two hits, and let's say that's the final result. Now you, you don't always want to go with your special crit, right? So the Dodonna's Pride title states that you cancel all of your dice and deal one face up damage. Now, if we were attacking the front with full shields, we may want to consider doing that. We certainly may. Um, especially if the opponent has redirect or if they have brace or something like that, some way to, to cancel damage, all right? But still, they get to spend defense tokens before you decide on a crit. So if he could force you to reroll something and potentially get rid of your crit, then that could stop it. Um, but let's say he spent everything, you still have three damage showing. In this case, when there's no shields on the defending side, you're far more likely to get benefit out of just letting this damage go through because then you can trigger the default crit, make it three damage, and the first one's face up. So you want to try to you know, kind of envision the scenario. How is this gonna resolve? How am I going to get the most damage through? Yeah, against a ship that has brace and other things, and maybe you only roll you know, like two accuracies and, and, and a crit. And so it's only gonna be one against a shielded side. Well, that's a case where you might trigger Dodonna's Prime and against another different scenario, if you're gonna get more damage on by just letting it go through normally, then just resolve the normal crit. All right, now, I think that covers most of it. There are multiple different types of crits out there. There are multiple different types of crit upgrade cards uh, and, and I, I encourage you to check them out, and if you have any questions on specific ones, let me know. I'm not going to cover every one that's out there because as soon as I try to cover all of them, a new one will be released that uh, now I'll be incomplete. So that's just basically how they work. There are some that uh, say black crit, there are some that say blue crit, and we may eventually see some that say specify a red crit. I haven't seen any yet, or at least uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but those are the different colors, so it's only upgrade cards that will apply specific critical results. And that's kind of uh, how crits work. So if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. I think I've kind of covered it for the most part. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you, uh, if you like the uh, video, give it a thumbs up. If you are a fan of Armada, click the little bell and you can get new video alerts as soon as I publish them. And uh, as always, give me a, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day.